five DC superheroes that need TV shows. Most people in the modern day at least know about the DC TV shows, even if they aren't a fan, but let's face it, they should be. It all started with the TV show Arrow, based on the Green Arrow comics. Through this came a series about The Flash, then Legends of Tomorrow, and Supergirl. These TV shows are now bigger than ever, with annual crossovers and big plot lines every year. So the question is, what other TV shows could DC possibly pull out of the bag next? We believe that the most obvious choice would have to start with Batman. Batman is one of the most popular DC superheroes, despite going through some rough phases. <coughs> George Clooney. <coughs> It's grown in popularity even more over the years. Batman's popularity began back in 1939 with an issue of Detective Comics that ended up giving him his own comic book series in 1940, and it's still in production today. Batman's secret identity is Bruce Wayne, an American billionaire, playboy, philanthropist, and the owner of Wayne Enterprises. After he witnessed the murder of his parents as a child, he swore vengeance against criminals in the city of Gotham, and he gets assistance from various supporting characters, including his butler Alfred, police commissioner Gordon, and vigilante allies such as Robin. Wayne trains himself physically and intellectually and crafts a bat-inspired persona to fight crime. Unlike most superheroes, Batman does not possess any superpowers. Rather, he relies on his genius intellect, physical prowess, martial arts abilities, detective skills, and many other abilities he's taught himself. A large assortment of villains make up Batman's rogues gallery, including his archenemy, the Joker. If Batman was to get his own TV show, it would first have to be cleared of many copyright issues to use the character, but we believe it could be possible. Reasons for this are that they've included Harley Quinn in the CW's Arrow in Season 2, and they have more recently brought Superman into the CW's Supergirl show. If they can get the rights for Superman, then Batman is surely a possibility for the future. There is a current TV show called Gotham, which is set in Gotham City and focuses on a pre-Commissioner Gordon. However, it is set years before the era of Batman. Bruce Wayne is just a child in this series. We think if Batman had a show, it would most likely have a darker tone, similar to that of Arrow. Second on the list would be Green Lantern. It's fairly safe to say that Green Lantern isn't as popular as he once may have been due to the Green Lantern film in 2011 starring Ryan Reynolds. The film wasn't received very well by the majority of fans and completely destroyed any hope for a sequel. However, if the CW took on the show, with the success of Arrow and The Flash in particular, we can see fans getting behind it and loving this superhero again. The first Green Lantern character was Alan Scott, who was created in 1940 during the initial popularity of superheroes. Alan Scott usually fought common criminals in New York City with the aid of his magic ring. However, we could see a TV series being about a different Green Lantern, more specifically, Hal Jordan. In 1959, the Green Lantern character was reinvented as Hal Jordan, an officer for an interstellar law enforcement agency known as the Green Lantern Corps. Additional members of this agency, all of whom call themselves Green Lanterns, were introduced over time. The ring that each Green Lantern is given allows them to turn mind into matter, literally, and create anything they wish, at will. If Green Lantern was to have its own series, the CW would definitely do it justice, and they have already proven they can do all the special effects necessary. This can be seen by all the metahuman special effects in The Flash and all the space travel in Legends of Tomorrow. There are also yellow lanterns, red lanterns, and lanterns of many other colors, but these don't have the same values and beliefs as the Green Lanterns. This could be an interesting story arc if Green Lantern was to have a show of his own. Next up is Wonder Woman. Fans have been dying for a Wonder Woman movie or TV show for years because they want young girls to have a role model in the superhero realm to look up to, since a lot of superheroes are men. This isn't all of them, of course, just look at the CW Supergirl. However, Wonder Woman is getting her own movie in 2017, so that could be a good thing for young people to see, as there haven't really been any female superheroes with movies of their own in the modern day. Wonder Woman, whose real name is Diana, is the daughter of Zeus and raised by her mother Hippolyta. She has a rather muscular look and comes from an Amazonian heritage. Her Amazonian training helped her to develop a wide range of extraordinary skills in strategy, hunting, and fighting. 
She possesses an arsenal of advanced technology, including the Lasso of Truth, a pair of indestructible bracelets, a tiara which serves as a projectile, and in older stories, a range of devices based on Amazon technology. Although Diana is 5,000 years old, her first exposure to non-Amazon society as Wonder Woman has only come within the last 100 years or so. While the Amazons were originally created to protect man's world, they ultimately abandoned it, which could possibly be looked at via flashbacks every so often in a TV show about the character. Her sexuality was also confirmed recently, proving that she's had several relationships with women, which we again think would be a good inspiration to show that anyone can be a hero, no matter their gender or sexual preference. If a Wonder Woman series was picked up, we think it would be brilliant for fans everywhere. The only problem we can see would again be the copyright issues, since she has recently been introduced to the cinematic universe. However, like we said earlier, if they can get Superman, then they can get anyone. Fourth is Aquaman. Now, we know what you're thinking, why him? He's considered the low point of superheroes and not many people really like him very much, so why make a series? Well, if you think about it, we already have Superman and Martian Manhunter in the CW's Supergirl, we have The Flash and Green Arrow, and if the shows we've already talked about get series, then we'd have Batman, Green Lantern, and Wonder Woman. So if we get Aquaman too, then we'd literally have a full-fledged Justice League. And who doesn't want that? But we also believe that after 2018's Aquaman movie is released, he'll get more respect and people will start to like him a lot more than they used to. Aquaman is the king of Atlantis and has many water abilities. He can breathe underwater, swim at tremendous speeds, and telepathically communicate with sea life. Being able to withstand ocean depths, he gets bonus points on land with his superhuman strength, enhanced senses, and nearly impenetrable skin. Jokes about his abilities and weaker powers compared with other superheroes regularly appeared in comedy routines and sitcoms, including Super Friends, who severely lowered his powers, so DC has been trying to make him more of an edgy character and more powerful overall. If the CW were to make an Aquaman series, they would most likely give the character a lot more depth and personality, and they would be able to introduce him very cleverly into the TV universe. However, it would probably be a very long time before an Aquaman series made it on the air, if at all, due to the character's lack of overall popularity as we mentioned previously. There was originally going to be an Aquaman spin-off from the show Smallville, and they produced a pilot for it and everything, but let's just say that didn't go down well at all and the pilot never aired. Finally, we have to ask ourselves what team would be as great as the Justice League? Obviously, the answer is the Teen Titans. The popularity of the Teen Titans is huge, and a show about this team has been requested a lot. It would be great to have another show that focuses on more than one superhero. The original Teen Titans featured Kid Flash, Wally West, Robin, Dick Grayson, and Aqualad, Garth, but then at a later date added Wonder Girl, Donna Troy. These superheroes all have similar powers to their adult counterparts. Kid Flash is a speedster, Robin has no superpowers and uses gadgets and his brains, Aqualad can control the water, and Wonder Girl is an Amazonian. If the CW were to do this show, we can imagine them not being teenagers like they are supposed to be, as stated in the very title. However, we could still imagine it working anyway. They've already cast Wally West as Kid Flash in the CW's The Flash, and they've spun characters off to their own shows before. For example, Martin Stein was a fairly regular character on The Flash, but now he's no longer on that show, he's now on the CW's Legends of Tomorrow as a main character. As for the other three Teen Titans, Dick Grayson, Garth, and Donna Troy, if they went ahead with the Batman, Wonder Woman, and Aquaman series, then these characters could be introduced too, setting up the very premise for this show. And that's the perfect series to end this list.